you see all these bicycle racks on these cars and pickup trucks well they have to strap their bicycles down here's a nylon strap you reckon that'd be strong enough for a bow drill bowstring I reckon it would we'll try it out had to wring the water out of it I'm going to use this water oak set and I want to go ahead and shape the spindle tip up, start another divot, do a burn in and notch. And I want to use this handheld bow. You see it will accommodate two different size cordages. So it's good that we have that big slot right there. Because that's how we're going to put our big strap in there. And to keep it from rubbing on itself, let's go ahead and twist it up. Or else when we wrap it on the spindle, it's going to kind of bind and catch on itself if it's too wide. So, we'll twist it up a little bit. Like that. Let's do a burn in. A little bit off center but it should still work. Tighten it up on the leg. Let's give it a try. You want a bow in an angle like this to cut down on wrap rub. Wrap rub will make this a lot harder to bow if it just keeps rubbing on itself. So bow at an angle. I'll angle it some more and make it, see if we can make it stay in there this time. It just kept on drifting to the front no matter what I did. So, we'll put an extreme angle on it this time and make it stay in that notch.
All right. And we have plenty of time to let that water oak ember coalesce. Guess I could show it to you now before it coalesces. That's the dust of two different tries and the burn in. That's the way it looks now before it coalesces. We'll give it some time, a minute or two to get bigger. Here's my fatwood barren block. Turn it so you can see it. And our off-center notch. We made it work, even though it kept wanting to pop out the front. And I was going to go ahead and show you. I'm kind of too tired now to go ahead and show you. Like if you imagine this is just a random stick that you got out of the woods. I wanted to show you how you could attach it this strap to it. You could take and just, a, just put a double wrap on it and then tie it. And that would hold the top end. As you go ahead and See, that's not, that's not going to slip on you, no matter how hard you pull on it. And then you take this end, wrap it around. So any, any stick you get out of the woods, you could use that technique right there and have a handheld bow and use the handheld bowstring technique. I've got a uh, playlist on the handheld bow. You might want to check it out. All right, doesn't look like it's still burning, but I assure you it is You're down inside there. And it's gonna be, let me show you how you can move it around, how it's all come together. See that? It's just one big coalesced ember. And the flames actually come faster when you give it a chance to get solid like that. Is the wind gonna take it to flames? Looks like it is. All right, y'all. Our found strap did a good job, didn't it? You don't have to find anything super duty like this is. You can use the neck ham off of your t-shirt even the arm ham off of your t-shirt once you stretch it out it's going to be plenty long enough for a bow drill bow string so all right y'all appreciate you joining me on this one we'll catch you on the next one